The Minecraft 1.19 wild update is just around the corner. That means new features, new items, and new mobs will be added to the game. I've gone ahead and put together 19 must-do things before the update drops. This is 19 must-do things before the 1.19 wild update. Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, we like to do this in complete survival. So, as you already know via the intro, we got 19 things to get through. Let's not waste any more time and get to the first one. I should also mention that these are in no particular order. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, number one is simply get yourself some snow. This is going to be incredibly handy to use as a tool against the warden. If you didn't know, the warden isn't one of those mobs that you're really going to want to try and kill. You're more going to want to try and distract it and get away from it. So, snowballs are going to be the perfect weapon of choice. If you're, for example, hiding, the warden pops out of nowhere, you can go bang, 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 and now he's going to follow those snowballs, and you're going to be safe and sound over here. Again, this little system is really easy to make. Like, really easy, so, uh, yeah, get some snowballs. Number two is for my old world players, so this means if you are in a old world, I've been playing in Simply Survival since the 1.14 update, and I have explored a fair amount in the 1.8. 18 update however if you are gonna want some mangrove and even an ancient city maybe closer to spawn you're gonna want to stop exploring any unloaded chunk so if you haven't loaded those chunks i probably wouldn't do that till the next update this way you're gonna have fresh chunks closer to spawn and you oh god and you may even have your own you know ancient city or mangrove swamp really, really close to you. Number three, make yourself a frog home. Now, this thing behind me is not my design. I'm going to put the original designer and the video what I've seen in the description below. But this thing, look at it. Dude, it looks like an actual frog and the tongue is made out of water. This thing is awesome. Now, I'm going to put some frogs here hopefully but i don't want them to bounce off so i've got to like think of some way to keep them in maybe like a pond or something in there but this is going to be my frog area at least a temporary frog area home for when they get added i would probably get one ready if i was you this one i mean i am ashamed to be adding this one i am really not up to date this one is for me james do this one right now get up to date with all your achievements dude I haven't got one single one from the 1.18 update. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe I have. Maybe I've got the goat one. I, I can't really remember. But yeah, get up to date with the achievements. Like, try and get all of them. I I've got these ones here, look. Still. Although, to be fair, I have uh, unlocked some of these on my Xbox. So, yeah, you, you got to let me off a little bit. But yeah, try and get up to date on all your devices with the achievements. Because, of course, in the new update, there are going to be more achievements added. And we do like a good achievement. It's always worth doing the achievements as well. You get free stuff like this hat, which is, I mean, it's all right. <laughs> and this hat, which is, again, all right. Not the best, but it's free. So yeah, get up to date with the achievement. So up next, we're going to talk about leggings. Now, I believe I could probably add the new enchantment, Swift Sneak, to my leggings that I have on at the moment. But, I mean, it's always worth getting a few more pairs of leggings, just in case, you know, you want them. And uh, you're always prepared that way, right? So, I'm going to go grab some right now. What I'm going to do is buy some and then disenchant them because they have got projectile protection on. So, I'm going to buy a couple pairs just to be safe. And then I'm going to get Swift Sneak at least, I hope, from the ancient city, and then just uh, make a few pairs of those leggings. You no, know, what I'm going to do, maybe I should keep one projectile protection. I'll just disenchant the other two. So yeah, this one is get your leggings ready for the new enchantment. Oh, damn. This one is very important. So important. I need so much iron right now. Give me my iron box. Give me that iron box. Oh, damn, there is a lot of iron in here. This next one, as I was saying, is very, very important. Let me go ahead and put this iron box back, and I'm going to make these into ingots right now. So, you might be thinking, dude, you got so many ingots. And yes, I need to make so many buckets. Like, these things are going to be very important, at least for me anyway, because I need to make a goddamn army of tadpoles. And to do that... I need buckets. So this next step is make a bunch of buckets ready to get your tadpoles. You see that? 
I've got a lot of buckets. So for the next one, it might benefit you jumping over to the Jam Fam Discord, where you can locate the download for the illegals guide. This will have every illegal that is available that we know of in the game and in the current update. But it's worth giving that a look over because some of the illegals obviously get patched through the updates. So if you're an illegal block collector, you're going to want to get any illegals that, that could well be patched. So number eight, we have come all the way way down here to my villager breeder i also have some illegal villagers but they are not what i want to focus on i want to focus on these cartographers cartographers can give you woodland explorer maps and why these are going to be useful is to get yourself the alley is it the alley or the alley like i'm in the alleyway next to my house or Alley, 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 alley. <laughs> I don't know, but you're gonna need a woodland explorer map. That, or you could go on chunk base and find yourself some coordinates. Either one is gonna work. Of course, some people would class chunk base as being a little bit cheaty. It's entirely up to you. You do what you feel comfortable with doing, but just make sure you've got some coordinates ready and you know where these mansions are. Anyway, keeping on the theme of the alley, basically, you are gonna wanna get yourself some leads because these are going to become quite effective to actually capture yourself some alleys. So imagine, you know, like this cow was an alley. Yes. Oh, damn. It's in my face. But you see what I mean? Now I have 19 and I could potentially get 19 and bring them home with me. So yeah, get yourself some ropes, some skipping ropes. So you're super prepared. What you're going to want to do is make some safe paths in the nether to your woodland mansion locations. This is going to provide you with obviously a safe way home for when you do have the alleys. And of course, them being in the nether means you're going to travel a shorter distance as well. And if you prepare them now, you literally won't have to do it when the update drops. You're literally going to be prepared for everything. So yeah, make yourself some paths. So for this next one, we need to go back to the nether. Oh damn, that was scary. I'm probably not going to do that again. And the reason I've come to the nether is to come check out this bastion. Now, I've not been here in a while. I just need to check if there's a magma spawner. Now, I don't think there is in this one, but I will need to find one for a frog-like farm. This is going to be a vital part to make a frog-like farm. I believe when a frog eats a magma cube, you then get a frog light. So a magma spawner is going to be a must. And yeah, it looks like I'm going to need to continue the search. So up next, we come in somewhere where I've not actually been in years. And of course, ah, no. Oh, damn. It does stop raining as soon as I go underground. Look at this. We're at the original stronghold. We got the original silverfish spawner. Oh, damn. But that's not what we're here for. We're actually going to go straight down into the caves. Oh, no. I have no idea what direction it is. It's been so long. Right, I think it's this way. Yeah, it's definitely down here. And if you hadn't guessed why we're down here, it's because of these guys. We're going to need to make a slime farm. Well, to be fair, I don't actually need to use these chunks now. I have a pretty good source. Oh, no. We're going to get killed by slimes. No! <laughs> Jeez Louise! <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these guys, oh no. Right, right, I'm staying away. As I was saying, you're going to want to make a slime farm because slimes are going to be the food that you need to breed frogs. So if you want to make a, like, frog breeder, you're going to need a bunch of slimes so you can actually, like, breed them. So many slimes! What I'll do is link the video where I actually made these slime chunks just uh, so you can find your own slime chunks if you need them. Again, it was such a long time ago, I barely remember doing it. Like, you can see around here where I was using it as a wither killer. You can even see some of the bedrock managed to survive and didn't get changed into deep slate, which is kind of funny. Yeah, number 12. Find some slime chunks and make a slime farm. So, there are three different types of frogs getting added in the game. This means you are going to need to locate or at least know where three different kind of biomes are. Different frog variants are tropical frogs, swamp frogs. Jeez. As I was saying, the different frog variants are tropical frogs, swamp frogs, and snowy frogs. So, for example, I've come over here at this snowy biome because now I know where this snowy biome is. Ready for uh, some snowy frog collect. Dude. I found an x-ray glitch. Nice. That was so easy. <gasps> Lol. That is one 
Easy X-ray glitch. But yeah, now I know where this snowy biome is so I can get myself some snowy frogs. I'm also going to need to find a warm biome and, of course, a mangrove swamp biome to get myself the other variants. The next one is simply stack yourself up a bunch of chests and a bunch of boats because, obviously, the chest boat is getting added. I mean, it's all right. I'm kind of excited for the chest boat. May as well get one different color of each chest boat just to, you know, have. Seems pretty cool. Pretty straightforward to get ready as well. Recently on Simply Survival, I've been doing a little bit of decoration, adding some new builds. As you can see here, I've added this little ring around this whirlpool thing down there. I also added this path down here, which, I mean, it didn't take too long. But it got me thinking, of course, with the new update comes new woods and new light. This is going to give us some really good options for building. I just can't think, what should I build? Like, I have no idea. No doubt these are going to be really, really awesome for decoration purposes but of course you do need an idea to actually do it I think I've got a few ideas, but I'm not 100% sure. Let me know if you've got any build ideas for the new blocks in the comments below. Speaking of building, I actually do need to build myself an alley home, which is actually the next one. Of course, you're not going to want your alley walking around with you all of the time. So I'm going to have to pick an area where he's going to like live or where they are going to live. Sort of like an enclosure. I mean, I may have to pick a brand new place for them. I'm not entirely sure. So of course, my frogs are going to go here. What about down here? This seems to be doing nothing right now. Maybe I should build a little alley home just here, right? I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do something here. So hopefully in the next episode, you will see a fully functioning or at least just a good looking alley home. So yeah, number 16 is to make yourself an alley home. Now, number 17 is quite exciting for people that like paintings. And I... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That's two in one video. <laughs> Jeez Louise. As I was saying, if you like paintings, this one is kind of exciting. I actually didn't know this until yesterday, but they're adding new paintings into the 1.19 update. That means that you are going to want some sort of paintings, like, really easily. And for me, the easiest way to get paintings is to just buy them. I just got 36 really, really quick. And I can buy them off every single one of these guys. These are just shepherds. All you need is a fletching table. And you can buy yourself so many paintings. I actually have way more paintings than I'm ever going to need now. Someone's going to have to give me an idea what I can actually do with all of these paintings. All right. I managed to get... Like, nearly three stacks of paintings, lol. All right, that's good enough. Number 17, get some paintings ready. Doing this video has made me realize how unprepared I am for this update. I literally need to find some goats somewhere. In case you didn't know, Phil died. As you can see, RIP Phil the goat. He was like a father to me. He truly was like a father to me. The only thing that's missing from this is a goat horn. So we need to get some more goats... So we can get ourselves some goat horns, and then we can finish his grave off. I mean, that's the least he deserves, right? So number 18 is quite literally just to get yourself some goats ready. Now, I'm fairly certain I managed to find my goat over here, but I'm not 100% sure. Although, it would be so handy to find a goat around here, right? Well, I found a dog that's mine, apparently. But that's not a goat. To be fair, I'm also going to need a couple of goats so I can breed them. I don't fully know how the horn system works yet. It's always good to have a couple just to be sure, right? Well, I'm 99% sure this was where I found a goat last time. But apparently I can't find any anymore. Not to worry, it's just another thing I've got to add to my list. And that is to get some goats. And for the final one is get some tools ready. These are going to come in handy so you don't need to keep repairing your tools over and over again. No doubt in the next update, you are going to be doing a fair bit of mining to locate yourself an ancient city. I know that's going to be my number one strat. Again, what I'm going to do as well is try and get a video out on how you can locate some ancient cities. But I definitely would get yourself a bunch of pickaxes ready for a big mining sesh. In fact, I'll just get all tools ready, armor, tools, everything. Because you're going to need to be ready for this update. The warden itself is going to be so strong. You're going to need all the perfect tools to give you that advantage. So 
So there we have it. There are my 19 must-do things before the 1.19 wild update drops. Again, I'm not going to lie. This was a little bit harder to put together than the 1.18 one. Purely for the fact that, yeah, there is a few stuff getting added to this update. But nowhere near as much stuff as the 1.18 update brought us. Now, if you think I have forgot anything in this list anything really really important let me know in the comments below with that being said i will catch you on the next one